Thank you very much. Uh, welcome everybody here tonight. Uh, those of you who've braved the weather and come out into the cold, I um, applaud you. And to those of you who are sitting in the comfort of your lounge room, hopefully at home, nice and warm, I also welcome you as well to our information evening for our year 10, 2023, our subject selections. Um, my name's Stephen Bolton and I am the neighbourhood principal for Darnia Neighbourhood. Um, tonight, hopefully you'll have most of your questions answered. I'm not, I'm not going to say you'll have everything answered, but uh, um, if there's time, at the, there'll be time at the end for you to do so or, or frequently ask questions that we get, we'll put out a sheet a little bit later on. But uh, running the night tonight, there's a, a big team behind this run essentially by Tash Boyko and um, Tash over there on my right and also Stacey Lundberg, who is our uh, assistant principal in charge of the... Uh, teaching and learning side of things so or curriculum essentially so i'll hand over now to stacy to begin the evening but welcome uh, please ask questions at the end or even on the way through if you if you're a little bit unsure and hopefully we can answer them for you the greater Sh greater shepherd and secondary secondary college is placed proudly on the land of the Bangarang and Yorta, Yorta, Yorta people and I wish to acknowledge them as the traditional custodians. I would also like to pay my respects to elders past and present. Over this last fortnight our college has been immersed in NADUC celebrations as we deepen our understanding of First Peoples culture. The theme this year is get up, stand up and show up and I feel this is a strong platform and message for all students at our college. I draw this parallel to our information session tonight as we look at how we embed the college's values of respect, responsibility, integrity and aspirations into the decisions our Year 9 students will make as they plan their educational pathway into the senior school and beyond. There is, this is a partnership where we, as the educators, provide the information and educational opportunity and where students, with their families, take this information and combine it with the students' talents, interests and aspirations to make decisions that will take them forward in a viable and positive direction. Our information session tonight will provide details regarding the core or compulsory subjects that all students will undertake at Year 10 and details of the elective students who will be able to make selections from. Our presentation will include the expectations and responsibilities for Year 10 students, provide advice on fast-tracking subjects, and we'll also provide information on the avenues for advice, along with the selection process and timeline. So we begin with a general overview. All Year 10 students will undertake the core subjects of English and Mathematics. This is a compulsory requirement, however there are streams within each of these core subjects. For English, students will apply to undertake Practical English, General English, or English as an additional language. Likewise, for mathematics, students will again apply to undertake foundation mathematics, general mathematics, mathematical methods, or specialist mathematics that occurs in semester two. However, the electives is where it gets really exciting, but also very information intensive. Students going into year 10 will have the opportunity to select from 61 electives, and this will be done in a structured manner. All of the electives have been designed against the Victorian curriculum and developed to prepare students for a VCE, VET or vocational major pathway. Each student will do eight electives in year 10. Four of these electives must be selected from a science, a PE, an art, tech or music subject and one humanities elective. The other four electives can be made up from the children's choices, English EAL, art, technology, music, humanities, science, PE and languages. This slide summarises what the course selection would look like over a week. Four sessions of English, whether it's foundation, general or EAL, four sessions of maths, and then over the year you will complete elective in science, PE, arts, technology or music. Each of these will be four sessions per week and you'll have four elections, electives of your choice over the year, two per semester in each of the domain areas. All students are required to undertake an English or maths course. Students will discuss or have discussed pathways with their current English or mathematics teacher. 
and we encourage you to have these discussions with your child. The English and mathematic choices that are made at the end of this year will lend themselves towards pathways in your senior secondary schooling. For example, practical English is modelled towards the curriculum that will continue in C senior school as a vocational major in literacy, whereas general English in year 10 has been developed to expose students to the key genres and writing styles that we completed in senior school in VCE English. So each student will do eight electives in year 10. Four of these electives must be a science, a PE, a art, tech or music and a humanities electives. So we are here. Students with a strength, passion or Engl interest in English can elect to complete literature or English language. And these classes lead themselves to either VCE literature or VCE English language. And students who qualify for EAL can participate in EAL academic studies, which leads to a VCE or VM pathway. We offer a wide variety of art electives at year 10. Students must undertake at least one art or technology or music elective while in year 10. These electives lead to a wide variety of VCE art subjects and CERT 3 and 4 certificates. In art, students can elect art, ceramics, creative glass, dance, digital, um, digital art, drama, media, painting and drawing, photography, printmaking, viscom and design, and viscom and technical drawing. All of these electives run for one semester. We also offer a wide variety of technology subjects. The technology subjects that we offer lead towards a senior pathway of VCE subjects, VET certificates and vocational majors. Technology offers a wide selection of activities and encompasses foods with choice of flavours, food for all, food studies and food creations, computing with mobile app development, product, design and technology with a focus on textiles or wood or metalwork. Students can complete engineering or fabrication within technology. There are four music electives on offer at Year 10 that lead to a VCE music pathway. Students can undertake instrumental performance, performance and investigation, music styles and composition, and music industry. Students must undertake one humanities subject. We have one class, sociology, that may be considered as either a humanities or science elective. Students can elect from humanities a range of fields including accounting, economics, geography, legal studies, history, either with an Australian lens or more globally in freedom and conflict and or philosophy. Philosophy is a new elective this year and will be offered in year 11 and 12 as a VCE pathway. So you think you want a job is a new elective this year and has proved to be very popular and practical for our current year 10 students. As previously stated, all students must select one science elective. Our science electives on offer are biology, chemistry, physics and psychology. There are lots of choices but we're almost there and we really want you and your families to know everything that there is to know about our subject choices so that you can make the best position, best choices as you go forward. There are two health offerings, either health and human development which leads directly to VCE health and human development and child development which is a logical pathway to a vet community services. All students must undertake one physical education course. Unit 1 and 2 Outdoor Ed is a fast track subject and will lead to undertaking Unit 3 and 4 whilst, whilst in Year 11. Students cannot commence Unit 1 and 2 Outdoor Ed in Year 11. This is to ensure the whole course is completed prior to Year 12 and therefore students will not be away on camps during this precious year. It is important to note that camps are compulsory and students must participate to meet all the requirements of outdoor education. Outdoor Ed runs for the whole year. At Year 10, students can elect Human Movement and Sports Science, Active for Life and Sport, Recreation and Leadership. For Sport, Rec and Leadership, students can participate for one or for the following semester. Students can also elect Outdoor Recreation and this course is modelled on outdoor education and has camps, but is only for one semester and does not lead to VCE outdoor education. With Languages at Year 10, we offer Auslan, Italian and Japanese. There is an expectation that students selecting a language at Year 10 have already completed continuous studies of this in Year 7, 8 and 9. I'd like to now hand over to Tash Boyko, our careers practitioner. Thank you. Thanks, Stace. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Tash Boyko, the careers leader here at Greater Shepparton Secondary College. And I'm going to talk to you this evening about some of the other options that you should be considering for your pathway. 
So one of the things that you've just heard is there's 61 electives that you can choose from, which is a huge number of electives. So it's really important that students are selecting the subjects that they're interested in. What are you good at? What comes naturally to you? What do you like to do? So have a think about those things when considering your electives. One of the things we want you to be mindful of, as well as if you're, or you have already heard, you need to have your science, your PE, your humanities, or your art, music, or technology. It's really important if you really don't know yet what you want to do, which is fairly standard when you're in year nine, that's okay. Choose subjects from a broad selection because this will help you keep your options open. As you move into year 10 at Greater Shepparton Secondary College, students will be moving into the senior school of our college. And we have some expectations of our senior students. One of the things that we are anticipating in our senior students is to see an increased level of responsibility and leadership at school. And we look forward to our current year nine students becoming year tens and demonstrating this as they become role models for our junior students. You're hearing about all of these pathways from year 10 into VCE and VCE, VM and VET studies. And with that comes extra responsibilities from a studying perspective. So to best prepare for year 11 and year 12, Greater Shepparton Secondary College have an expectation that year 10 students should aim to complete as a minimum at least one hour of homework per subject each week. Students who do this in year 10 find themselves in such a great position in year 11 and year 12. At year nine, our students on a Wednesday in session five participate in a program called social and emotional learning. In our senior school, our senior students participate in the Pathways Mentor Program. This is also held session five each Wednesday. The program at year 10 delivers a huge range of topics that will help students prepare themselves for study, to help them be organised, to help them with their mindfulness and well-being, and also work with the careers team and their pathway mentors teachers to discuss different pathways for their future. When you're, in, when you're in the senior school, the Pathways Mentor Program is being designed to build each year so that you're constantly um, developing new skills, um, scaffolding what you've learned the year before. We'll also have our Year 10 students participate in things that are held locally like Careers Day Out to assist them exploring their career um, interests and potential opportunities. You will have heard Stacey mention earlier something called fast tracking. And she was talking about a subject called outdoor ed, which is a compulsory accelerated study. It's a compulsory accelerated study because outdoor education involves a number of camps and students in year 12 are obviously very focused on their studies and unable to go away for week long camps. So students have the opportunity to accelerate outdoor education as a subject. We also provide the opportunity for all students who are above the standard in a subject of their interest to apply to accelerate that subject. That means this year's Year 9 students, you guys sitting here and watching at home, if you're really, really great at history and love it. You might like to consider accelerating history and starting VCE history unit one and two when you're in year 10 next year. And then when you're in year 11, you would complete the year 12 equivalent unit three and four in year 11. And in effect, you finished one unit of your VCE program, okay? The things to consider, most important of all, is that accelerated studies is specifically for students who are above the standard in an area of study. It is not for all students. It will prepare students for year 11 and year 12 because you're being exposed to the, to the rigorous requirements of the VCE program, okay? 
Students are only allowed to undertake one acceleration study because of those increased expectations. Students may uh, be the only year 10 student in the year 11 classroom. So we're making sure that students who select to accelerate are A, advanced in that area, but also that they're comfortable and will cope with the demands of undertaking a VCE subject a year early, okay? One of the things to remember is accelerating a study is to help you improve your ATAR, which is the score that you get when you finish year 12 to help you get into tertiary studies. So accelerating a study doesn't mean you do less subjects in year 12, it actually improves your overall um, VCE results by doing an additional study. If you're interested in undertaking an accelerated study, when you get your course books later this week, and I will touch on that shortly, at the back of the book, there is an application for students to apply for an accelerated study. You will need to have a conversation, obviously, with your parents or guardians about your desire to do so. And you will also need to make sure that your current teacher of that subject signs you into the subject and also the domain leader of the subject. So for example, if you're currently doing um, a photography subject at Year 9, you may have a conversation with Mr McConnell and he may sign you in. And then you would find um, Alison Seely, the domain leader of the arts department, who would also sign you into that subject. It is not a guarantee that you will get into the subject for, that you apply for, for an accelerated study, but we certainly encourage students who are interested in applying to take the opportunity to do so. Some of you may be thinking, who do I talk to about my subjects? I'm not quite sure who I can have a conversation with about what things I might be good at or what I might be interested to do. You do need to be signed in by your current classroom teacher for your English and maths subjects. So you'll need to have a conversation with those two teachers for starters, okay? It's also a good idea that you speak with your current humanities teacher and science teacher and your physical education teacher about the things that you're enjoying and good at. And they'll be able to share their advice with you about what subjects would fit best for your interests and your pathways. You're also encouraged to speak with senior students who are currently doing these subjects. So if you know someone who's in year 10 or you're interested in a year 11 VCE subjects, have a conversation with someone, find out what they're doing and ask them about the subject and what it involves. In each of our three neighbourhoods, here at Greater Shepparton Secondary College, we have a qualified careers practitioner who's just waiting to have a conversation with you about your pathways. In Bayala, Susan Barr can be found in the Careers Hub, Graham Crosby lives in the Danya Careers Hub, and Dan Watson is in Bayuna. You can also find me or Mary Ann Linehan in the Office D148 in the Danya building, and we're also ready and willing to have a conversation with you and answer your questions about your pathway. If you completed your Morrisby profile in semester one, we encourage you to have a look through your Morrisby profile. See what results have come out. What's been revealed? What are you good at? What are you strong at? What do you love to do? What is it suggested that you do for the future? And then have a look at what subjects would lead you into that area and that will also assist you. We have a wonderful careers website here at Greater Shepparton Secondary College. You can visit it at www.gsscareers.com. Lots of resources for you available on this website. If you go into the secure area, you can log in as a student and you can undertake other interest tests and see where your strengths are and see what you're interested in to help you make links to what you're naturally good at and what career or occupation might fit best for you and thereby what subjects would work for you too. Tomorrow in your social and emotional class, session five, you'll receive your subject selection book. And over the next three weeks in your classrooms, your teachers will begin showcasing the, elect the elective subjects that are on offer 
providing information to students about the subjects you can choose from. Teachers will also make themselves available outside of class time to discuss subjects, subject options with students. I've already mentioned that you do need to be signed into the most appropriate English and math subject for you. So as soon as you get your booklet on Wednesday, don't take it home and leave it there. Make sure you bring it to school and take it to all of your classes so you can talk to your teachers. Take it to English and maths so your teachers can sign you into the most appropriate English and maths class. Remember that you'll need to get your application to accelerate a subject signed off by your current classroom teacher for that subject and the domain leader of the learning area. And then the really important thing is some dates that you need to be aware of. Wednesday the 27th of July is the last day that you need to have all of the signatures you need and all of your subjects decided. Why I hear you asking? Because on Thursday the 28th and Friday the 29th of July, our Year 9 students will be participating in course counselling with the careers team and some of our leadership team. Students will be required to bring all of their completed subject selection paperwork to school on these days. Home groups will be allocated a counselling session which will be running in the rooms here behind me in the gym. Every student will have an individual session with a careers practitioner or one of our house leader or leadership team to discuss the subjects that they would like to choose for year 10. Those subjects will be entered into our system on that day. So we need students to be prepared for their session so they can select the subjects that they are hoping to do next year. So our key days, Wednesday have everything signed, the Wednesday the 27th of July, and subject selection day, Thursday the 28th and Friday the 29th of July. Home groups, students in Year 9 will participate in a normal school day here at Greater Shepparton Secondary College. Classes will come across by home group to their allocated time across those two days. Any students who are absent on those two days will be caught up with um, as close to those two days as possible. So this is a copy of the front page of the subject book that you're going to be getting in your social and emotional session tomorrow. It's going to have your planning and preferences, preferences sheet. Use that to help you think about your pathway, answer the questions, fill it in. It's got your preferences for your electives. It's got the English and maths pathway select, selection sheets and the application to accelerate. Uh, thanks, Tash, and thanks very much because I know that's a, been a team approach. It's not just uh, you doing all the work. I know you've worked pretty hard with a whole team. And I suppose that brings me to, the, to thank you all for coming, obviously, um, and braving the cold. I hope you um, got the information that you wanted out of it. But if you haven't and there's something we can help with before you go, please don't hesitate to come and talk to one of us. Thank you.